I'm going to show you how to install a new smart bulb. This is a Tapo brand or Tapo brand, however you pronounce this. These are the 1100 lumen bulbs and it's a 75 watt equivalent. They are also matter compliant. So if you want to get the latest and greatest, it's this matter compliant bulb standard. And this simply means that not only can you use it with the Tapo app, which I'll show you in a minute, but you can use it with uh, Apple HomeKit, you can use it with Alexa, with Google Assistant. Matters like the standard, uh, M-A-T-T-E-R, it's the standard by which these things communicate with other protocols or with other apps. It just works, okay? So this is 10 times better than what I've been using. I've got singlet wireless bulbs here, no hub required. They've been fine for a few years, but we had an outage recently, so I decided to upgrade to something more reliable, and I have been very impressed with these so far. The app is 10 times better and more intuitive and quicker to set up. They are just newer, and I guess this matter standard uh, is maybe smarter. It's a smarter smart bulb. So let's do it. First thing you wanna do, turn off light. Second thing you wanna do, unscrew the old bulb, whatever that is, and get it out of there. So there's what we had been using. This is a smart bulb too. And uh, the singlet service actually just came back on this morning after I had received these new bulbs. So I'm gonna hold on to those and use them elsewhere, but these are better. So I'm gonna screw this guy in, get it nice and firm, and then flip it on and it's going to do like some flashy things here to just show that, hey, it's up and running and it's ready to get set up. Now, what I did is I set it up first and I would recommend that you do this in the Tapo app. The reason is when you first sync it up, set it up to the Wi-Fi, so my router is over here in my office in the other corner. When you set it up via the Topo app, it's gonna automatically check for firmware updates for the light itself. Uh, I have it set up, it looks like it scans for that every day or every night at like 1 a.m. is when I have mine set up. Once you set it up in the Tapo app or Topo app or whatever it's called, then you can copy and paste a matter code and put it into Alexa's app or Google Assistant app or the Apple Home Assistant or the Apple HomeKit app. Um, this is the way to do it from what I have read up on instead of setting it up first in Alexa or first in Google Assistant. So let me walk you through that. We're gonna switch over to the app view now and I'll just continue walking through the process. It's really pretty simple and pretty quick. Here we go. Okay, first up, download and install the Tapo app. And then when you load this up, up in the top right-hand corner, you've got the plus button. And then down below, once you start adding devices or bedrooms or groups and stuff, you'll have all of those selectable here. But what we need is the top right corner, add device. And then the ones that I have, they've got tons of different device devices, is the light. And I actually have this Tapo L535. So it says, make sure you install it like we just did, power it up, and then Tapo is going to look for the Tapo device. Now, previously when I've used Singlet, this took like a long time for whatever reason to actually find and then set up the device. This is a lot quicker than it was the first time that I set up devices with the Singlet app. So that's one advantage out of the gate that I've already seen with the Tapo app and the Tapo product. So behind me right now, the bulb is flashing again to indicate that yes, it found it, it installed it. And I'm just gonna say this is Office One because it's in my office. I'm gonna put it in my office room. I'll show you how I set that room up here in just a second. Then we can pick a uh, an icon for this that matters very little, except when you're looking at it in the app itself. Once you've added it to a group or a room rather, we'll get the groups here in a moment, then you're gonna say, hey, check for firmware now, like we were talking about. It's up to date. Now I'm gonna say, hey, do this every night at 1 a.m. or sometime in between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. And now it's gonna just automatically set up the firmware. Okay, so what we just did, let me show you a couple more things. I've got all these rooms set up up here. 
let's say we added that to the wrong room. So let's go back into Office. And we can actually just look at all the settings right here. We can put schedules and themes and timers and stuff. We can power it on and off. Or we could come up to the device settings and say, hey, actually, that was not in the office. That was, let's put it in the hallway, say. So we can change or we can even write new, uh, new rooms right here. And it will save that. Uh, for all time. So I'm going to leave it as the office because that's where I wanted mine, but that's how you add new rooms. Now, in addition to rooms, we also have groups. So let's come up here to the settings and let's say groups down here. And I want to add this to the group. And the only group I've made so far is the living room. So I want to add this to group and we're going to call it office. The advantage that you do here by making a group inside of a location, so even though the location is office and the group is also office, you can control groups of lights without controlling the whole room. So if you have a ton of stuff in here, you can segment that out. In our example here with one light, that's not really necessary, but it's, it's what I'm going to do anyway. And so now we've got it set up to where we are good to go. All right, now we can control stuff straight within the Tapo app, but that's not super useful because most of us are going to have Alexa or Apple or Google Home Assistant. So how do we set it up there? Well, before you go out and open Alexa, go into the bulb or the device you're setting up. Go into the settings, and down at the bottom here, we've got Matter Setup Code. That's going to take a second when you first open this to generate a new code. This is going to be different from the code that's inside the box or on the bulb because we've already set this up for the first time to our home, to our Wi-Fi. Copy the code that you find here, and now go over to Alexa. Inside Alexa, let me go back to the home screen, you can simply add a new device. You can either select light right down here, or we can go matter object. It's got a matter logo. Try numeric code instead. Locate the code, and that's the one we just copied. So now I'm going to paste this right here. Get your device ready to pair, and it should be, if you've done this within the first 15 minutes of turning on this light, it should be already ready to go. If it's not, turn the light off and turn it back on just one time, and that triggered my Tapo light to go back into this pairing mode uh, that it remains in for the first, I think the first 15 minutes when you're initially setting these up. But now Alexa is going to do the same thing that the Tapo app did. It's going to connect the device to the network. This takes just a hair longer, but again, that's real time right there. I didn't speed anything up. It was pretty doggone quick. So I'm going to type in Office 1 and name it here in Alexa. This is duplicate for what we had been doing. I keep saying her name and it pops up there on the phone. This is duplicate to what we had been doing in the Tapo app. But again, because of the firmware updates, I do recommend setting it up in Tapo app first because that's the proprietary software. It goes with what you just purchased and then add it like we just did in Alexa. Now we're back here. This is set up. Let's try to prove it. My Alexa is actually in the kitchen, so I'm going to yell at it and see if we can get it to work right now. Hey, Alexa, turn office to blue. It's so satisfying. Hope that's helpful for you. If it was, like, subscribe, comment below if I've left something out you need to know about. Have a great one. Talk to you later.